Hello, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. I've been aware for quite some time of the Chinese coin counterfeiting operations that have been going on for quite some time that have infected Western markets for many, many years, and maybe even done a video or two about the subject in the past. But the James Hopkins had sent me a link to a, a relatively new article on this uh, from the inside of a Chinese counterfeiting ring by Susan Headley. This is going to be interesting pieces of some, a lot of different pictures here. Shows kind of what goes on here in these operations, which are very, some of the conditions and the way these pieces are made is quite interesting indeed. And here we can see in this photo uh, that a worker in a Chinese fake coin minting operation feeds a planchet into the coin press to strike a fake silver coin. Uh, it's a very interesting to see it actually in place and happening there. And the photos in this gallery were taken inside of a Chinese coin counterfeiting operation. The ring is suspected of putting thousands of fake coins into the world and U.S. markets every month. These striking photos, no pun intended, first emerged on current web-based coin discussion boards in Europe and the Far East. They came to... Uh, the attention of the author through a numismatic watchdog satire blog called Biddle's Bank. They're the same coins that are put into counterfeit uh, PCGS and NGC coin holders, although they are most frequently sold raw. The sheer size and scope and professionalism of the counterfeiting ring will astonish you. Although the working conditions often appear dirty and the minting equipment is old, this is obviously a well-funded enterprise that is run like a legal business in China. There is no law in China against making these replicas as long as they are sold as such. The photo depicts a worker in a Chinese counterfeiting ring in the process of feeding the planchet and the press to strike a fake silver coin. The counterfeiting ring whose equipment and products are shown in the photo gallery is a large, well-funded organization that employs numerous people in factory-like environment. In addition to striking fake coins, and manufacture a variety of fake Chinese antique art and antiquities items. A very, very interesting indeed. Here's another coin press used by the Chinese counterfeiters. This one looks a little more clean, uh, but uh, you can see that it's sort of antiquated technology. Or, uh, but the photo shows different coin presses uh, than the one in the photo. This one is striking fake Morgan dollars. And there you can see the Morgans are being struck, and you can see even after they struck them, it's kind of looked like they have an antiqued look to them in the photograph here. Several freshly struck fake Morgan dollars lie to the ride machine. It looked like they might even have be proof Morgan dollars, but they sort of that antique kind of look around them too. Too. Let's see here, hand-fed coin blanks. Blank. Some of the machinery in this operation looks pretty old. So maybe they're just normal Morgans after all. Whatever quality of striking they have, whether it's proof or normal, one thing is certain, they are fake. And here we see a closer look at some fake uh, Morgan dollars made China. You can see this relatively uh, nice representations here, at least that we can see here, relatively sharp, sharp strikes here, from this picture anyway. Very interesting indeed. Here they are on the edge. Now they're probably a smaller and thicker size. They obviously look thicker and those reeds look different than what you would find in a normal Morgan dollar. And you can kind of sort of tell that on this other, uh, these this other picture as well. Very interesting. And uh, here's a close up image of the newly fresh fake Morgan dollar struck in China. I don't know if they were struck by the corn press on the previous page. I don't think so, or several other coin presses in this counterfeiting ring has, but those fake Morgans sure look pretty high-quality counterfeits. Of course, this counterfeiting ring will process them so that each one appears to have a different amount of wear, toning, contact marks, and other minor imperfections so that they don't all look too much alike. Some of the fake Morgan dollars will also find their way into counterfeit PCGS and NGC slabs, but the author's sources tell her that most of these kind of fits are sold as raw. There's the edge view. These coins may or not have, may or may not have been struck on genuine 0.900 fine silver planchets. 
most of the time not, unless they're CCs. The Chinese have been experts at creating look-like alloys for more than 1,500 years. Chinese worker applies edge lettering to fake coins. Wow, that's interesting. Here's another one of the uh, coining machines in use at the large Chinese coin counterfeiting factory. A worker who looks to be a woman, yep, it's a woman, is operating the machine that applies edge lettering to the edges of the struck coins. This machine is somewhat different from the Schuler edge lettering machines in use of the U.S. Mint for the golden dollars. According to reader Henry N., this one operates more like a, uh, a casting machine, which is the first machine ever developed for the express purpose of putting edge lettering and other marks on the edge of coins. Minting experts Mike Diamond and Fred Weinberg also concur, based on what they can see in the photo, that the machine is applying edge lettering. Reader Costas K. pointed out, if you look carefully just to the left of the large tube, you can actually see a coin traveling through the machine. <clears throat> yeah, okay, probably that right there being spit out. And interesting. Here's an assortment of dyes, fake coin dyes in China. Look at that. Wow. 1800, 1801. Look at that. There's a. Large British piece, too, so it's not just American coins that are counterfeiting. In order to strike coins, you need coin dyes, and the Chinese counterfeiters are making some fairly high quality coin dyes. As the photo indicates, most of the dyes shown here are various American silver dollars, although I see a couple of Indian head cents and some foreign coin types. Yes, indeed. Here's a close up of the fake coin dye, and you can see there. Old British King George slaying the dragon on that one. The close-up shows the quality of the dies for making fake silver crown sized coins. A die on the right is the reverse of a British silver crown dated 1899. The die on the left shows the obverse of a Greek 5 drachma dated between 1833 and 1845. Although the British crown, if genuine, would sell for a few hundred dollars, a Greek coin made by these dies cost thousands. Of course, each coin die can strike tens of thousands of specimen, making this a very profitable operation. And here's another image showing the counterfeiters uh, making counterfeit coins. And as they blanked out the faces here, <clears throat> the machinery looks pretty old and maybe not very well maintained. Clearly it was filthy, but the work these men are doing is filthy itself making counterfeit rare coins to pollute our coin collecting marketplace. And here we can see thousands of fake coins from China. It's deceiving at first but perspective consider that the blue stool in the middle of the photo is full size step stool type of seat. All around it are boxes and boxes of Chinese made fake silver coins all neatly sorted into compartments. Many of these coins will end up in fake PCGS, NGC, ANAX, and other grading service holders, but the majority of them are sold ungraded. Some of them are even sold legitimately as replicas rather than as a genuine coin. Uh, but without the marking indicating their copies, it's easy for dishonest people to pass them off as authentic. And I might add that it's probably easy for, um, for, um, um, for honest people to pass them off as authentic not knowing themselves so it can it pass along many different ways i've seen that happen before too and another view a little closer look at the coins and many counterfeit coins and chinese minting operation is struck most of them are silver colored although probably not made of real silver and a few of them are made of copper these boxes don't look very sturdy remember coins are quite heavy in these quantities even fake ones Yet the sources tell the author that the coins are transported to coin shows in those cases. Of course, you won't see the boxes on the coin show trading floor. This sort of quantity is a type of deal done behind closed doors in private hotel rooms. But even there, I doubt a buyer would see anything but the coins themselves. That's right. Wow. Here's the fake Standing Liberty uh, a quarters. Wow, look at that. Those look pretty good. One last look at the silk-covered trays. A close-up photo shows lots of freshly struck fake Standing Liberty quarters. Also see Chinese-made fake Indian head cents and what looks to be maybe large cents and perhaps some uh, counterfeit dimes and nickels. It looks like these are before they were run through the uh, 
wearing process and toning. Here's one of the showroom for the Chinese counterfeiting factory. Wow, yeah, if you walked in there, you'd pretty much, you know, know what you're getting, the fake stuff. Wow, it's a little like a store where customers can come in and buy smaller bulk quantities of the fake coins and other items made by this operation. Here's another storage area for Chinese fakes. Notice all the other items up as well as coins for sale here. <clears throat> so it might be in another showroom, they think, possibly a showroom. Fake Indian head sense and large sense. Wow, look at those. Hey, from here they look genuine. Pretty crazy. Looking past here, one of the many showrooms. Just small little holes in the wall, these places are. Small little storefronts, and they just sell right from out of there. Very interesting indeed. There's some fake Chinese ingots and bars. I remember seeing these types on several YouTube channels showing these types of bars. And it looks like they're faked pretty commonly. Wow. These long bars. I would never buy anything like that. <clears throat> For sure. Fake Chinese iron and bronze artifacts, too. Look at that. It's a shame. I remember seeing these. Wow. And here's fake Chinese antiquities. Man, crazy. More of them. These are relatively commonplace. I've seen them at coin shows. I've never bought any. Chinese uh, dynastic coins. I've seen these around plenty of times as well. I stay away from them, that's for sure. Fake Chinese currency and goods. See, they can fake their own currency. Legally, apparently. Photo is the best of the banknotes bunch. The other items in the photo seem to some kind of tourist trade goods in the back of the lower shelf. You can see coin dies for sale. Wow. So you can make your own counterfeit coins. Process fake coins and winning uh, dispersal. Crazy. And there's the fake Chinese slabs. Look at that. Crazy. Look, they even say, they even mark them as cleaned. They give them a little bit more of a, to sell them a little bit more. I see no CAC stickers, no fake CAC stickers on there, though. Pretty crazy. Well, uh, very interesting indeed. So there you have it. It's a pretty big operation. It's going on to this day. They're making these things in the tens of thousands. So this article is just another thing to be wary of fakes that are out there. And to be careful what you buy. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. Thanks again, Mr. Hopkins, for sharing this with me. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. And I encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.